Hello, I'm Sean Murphy and I'm the Primary 7 teacher here at Scottish Online Lessons. Now, I created these lessons from this room here at home and I believe that children can use these all over to build confidence but also importantly to progress their learning. Now, digital learning is a tool which us teachers use lots of these things nowadays to enhance experiences but also to excite young learners. Now that's where I think the Scottish Online Lessons is a great platform and provides children the opportunity to do this on their own, gaining knowledge but also improving their independence at the same time. So here's a wee example of a primary seven maths lesson. It's going to focus on multiplying four digit by two digit numbers. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, it's Mr Murphy here from Scottish Online Lessons. In this maths lesson today, is about multiplication and division. And it's going to look at multiplying four digit by two digit numbers. So the learning intention is to multiply four digit numbers by two digit numbers. And the success criteria, these are the steps that we're going to need to follow and try to be able to do in order to achieve our learning intention. So the success criteria are, I can partition numbers up to four digits, I can multiply by multiples of 10, 100 and 1000. I can multiply using the grid method. And lastly, I can answer multiplication word problems. Now before we begin, I'd like to recap on multiplying multiples of 10, 100 and 1000. So multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on. Multiples of 100, 100, 200, 300. Multiples of 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 and all the way up. So if you have a look to the box on the left there, we are multiplying a multiple of 10 by a multiple of 10, 50 times 40. Now a way to make this more simple for ourselves is if we say that 40 is 4 times 10. And then we're going to so we're splitting that 40 up into 4 times 10. So now that makes it a little bit easier and we'll do it step by step. So 50 times 4, that equals 200. 4 50s are 200. Now with that 200, we need to multiply it by the 10. So 200 times by 10 equals 2000. So that is a way that we can find the answer. Now the middle box, 200 times 30. So it's a multiple of 100 times a multiple of 10. So again, we're just splitting up that multiple of 10 there. So 30 becomes 3 times 10. So we can do 200 times 3, which equals 600. Then 600 times 10 equals 6,000. And the last box there on the right, 6,000 times 50, a multiple of 1,000 multiplied by a multiple of 10. So 50 has been changed to 5 times 10. 6,000 times 5 is 30,000. 30,000 times 10 is 300,000. So that's a little recap and it's going to be useful in our learning in this lesson today. So now put what you've learned in that little recap there into practice in this starter task. Complete the subtraction sums below. Pause the lesson now and complete this task. And here are the answers to the starter task. So the first one, 80 times 10 equals 800. 50 times 20 equals 1000. 4,000 times 60 equals 240,000. 300 times 30 equals 9,000. 600 times 70 equals 42,000. And 9,000 times 20, the answer is 180,000. So check your own answers against those ones. So we're looking at multiplication in this lesson. Here's a word problem. A concert venue has a capacity of 4,528 people per night. A pop singer sells out the venue 27 nights in a row during her tour. How many people altogether go to see the pop singer in this venue over the course of the tour? So she sells out every single night, which means that every single ticket is bought. So it's in full capacity. So that means that there must be 4,528 people per night and the pop singer plays to that amount of people for 27 nights so to find the answer to that sum you would do 40,000 uh, sorry 4,528 times 27 and that would give you the answer and people is the units of that we must always include the units 
Now we're going to have a look at the grid method. Now this is a really good strategy for finding multiplication answers when we're dealing with larger numbers like this and simplifying it for ourselves to find the answer and have a good understanding of the numbers as well. So step one tells us to partition the numbers and place them onto the grid. So you can see that 4,528 has been partitioned to 4,520 and 8. And the number 27 has been partitioned to 20 and 7. And we can see that they have been put on the grid around the outside. And that little multiplication sign in the top left of the grid reminds us that we are multiplying. Now step 2 says multiply the numbers on the grid. Look at the first example. So there are spaces in the middle of the grid and we need to now find the answers using the numbers around the outside. So we multiply in the first box there that's been done for us in red is 4,000 multiplied by 20. So the answer is 80,000 and we include that just there. Now, a couple of other little sums have been put in to help you, to give you an idea of what it is that you're doing. So the box to the right of that would be 500 times 20 and the box below the 80,000 would be 4,000 times 7. So we just had a look at the example one. Now step two has been completed. We've multiplied all the numbers and they're now on the grid. So 4,000 times 20 is 80,000. 500 times 20 is 10,000. 20 times 20 is 400. 8 times 20 is 160. Now the bottom row, 4,000 times 7 is 28,000. 5,000 times 7 is 3,500. 20 times 7 is 140. And 8 times 7 is 56. So we've put all of our numbers, all of our answers onto the grid. Now step 3 is find the total of each row. So the first row has been done. 80,000, add 10,000, add 400, add 160. That gives us a total of 90,560. And that has just been written in line with that row. We're still on step three. Now we need to find the total of the bottom row there. So 28,000, add 3,500, add 140, add 56. Gives us the total of 31,696. And that has been written in line with that row. Now on to step four, which is the last step and is the one that leads to our answer. Add the totals of each row together. So you can see we've created a little sum outside the grid there. So 90,560 add 31,696 equals 122,256. And that is our answer. It has been put up above where our original problem was. The answer is 122,256 people, because that's what it was asking in the question, how many people attend the concert. So now it's your turn. You've seen how it's done. Now I want you to have a go at doing this. So complete the multiplication problems using the grid method. The grids have been included for you, but you'll need to draw them out. If you use a ruler, it keeps them nice and tidy. Now the different steps for you to follow are down the right hand side there for your assistance. Pause the lesson now and complete this task. So here is the answers. I'd like you to check yours and make sure you check all of your working as well. So you may want to pause the lesson just now just to go through because there's quite a lot to take in on the screen just now. So if you want, pause the lesson and check your work. If not, continue to listen and I'm going to read through the answers. So number one was 5,921 times 34 and that gave us the answer 201,314. Number two, 7,061 times 52 equals 367,172. Number three, 1,899 multiplied by 81 gave us the answer 153,819. And lastly, question number four, 2,236 multiplied by 19 equals 42,484. And that is the answers for those four questions. If, again, if you want some time to check over it and pause the lesson now, 
but if not, continue to listen. So we now know the grid method to answer questions that include multiplication for four digit and two, two digit numbers. So it's important that we learn maths because we need to be able to put it into real life situations. So here are some word problems and I'd like you to answer these. Now you can use the grid method or if you know any other multiplication strategy that can help you find the answers, you can use that as well. You're going to need to read the questions, figure out what the numbers are that you're multiplying and then find the answer. Pause the lesson now and complete this task. So number one, let's go over them and I want you to check your answers as we do this. So number one, what is 8,364 multiplied by 25? That was numbers written in words, so we had to figure out what the numbers were and then do the sum. The answer was 209,100. Number two, a top footballer earns £1,632 in a week. How much does he earn in a year? And there are 52 weeks in a year, so the sum was 1,632 times 52. The answer was £84,864. Remember to include the pound sign. Number three, a bread factory makes 3,528 loaves in a day. How many loaves does a bread factory make in January? And there are 31 days in January, so the sum was 35, sorry, 3,528,000 ,000 times 31. And the answer was 109,368 loaves. Always include the units. That is whatever it is that the question is asking you about. So it's loaves or pounds or people. That's what we've covered in this lesson. Always include that in your answers. So it's now time to check your learning. So let's take the success criteria from the beginning of this lesson and see if we've been able to do these things. And if we can, if you say to yourself, yes, I can do that, then you've been successful and you've achieved your learning intention. So the first one is, I can partition numbers up to four digits. Could you do that? That was essential. We needed to be able to do that to insert the numbers into the grid. The next one, I can multiply by multiples of 10, 100 and 1000. Were you able to do that? The next one, I can multiply using the grid method. And the last, I can answer multiplication word problems. So assess, have you met your success criteria today? And now it's time to self-assess using the traffic lights. So ask yourself, how did I do today? and use these to help gauge your understanding of multiplying four digit by two digit numbers. And more specifically, we were looking at the grid method today. So did you find this hard? If that's the case, you were in the red zone, it might be useful to try the lesson again. If you're in the amber zone, you're getting there, you just need a bit more practice. You could try the suggested follow-up activities. Or are you in the green zone? you're feeling confident and you enjoyed this lesson and you feel you really understand it, then you're ready to learn something new. You could try another lesson. So take a little moment to think, where are you on the traffic light? Well done, you've finished this lesson. I hope you now have a good understanding of the grid method and you're able to use this as you move on with other aspects of maths, multiplying four digits by two digit numbers. Now, if you'd like a little bit more practice, then you can try the suggested follow-up activities. So create your own word problems that involve multiplying four digit by two digit numbers. Once you've created them, solve them. Or why don't you give them to a friend or a family member and see if they can solve them. And then you'll need to check the answers because you know how to do the grid method to find the answer. Or you could challenge yourself and try to multiply four digit numbers by three or four digit numbers this time. So we're getting even bigger. Now you can use the grid method for this. There's some examples there for you, but when you're using the grid method, you're going to need to include more rows in your grid. Now on behalf of Scottish Online Lessons, I, Mr Murphy, would like to thank you for taking part in this lesson today. And I wish you the very best of luck with the rest of your learning.